Hey guys, this is Kyle, or Vulcan Wolverine. It's Thursday, uh, January 28th, I think, or 27th. Um, I wanted to make a quick video this morning. I had made a video uh, yesterday, and it was just like, it was about how, you know, if I react to this, like I verbalized to my attackers, and then it seems like the vehicular uh, stalking kind of picks up and you know that's not it is important what I was talking about but more important I've, I've gotten some comments that I, I think are kind of right uh, like at the beginning of this you know I had a lot more humor about it I didn't take it as seriously but I've learned like kind of how many people are getting hurt by this um, you know I've talked to people personally about their stories which it's just like it rips my heart out because I can't I can only tell them you know you can try and defend yourself and we're trying to make strides to get this to stop but it's like they it's like they're every day it's torture and it's hell and it's it's um you know it's just it takes away their life you know what they used to have and it, it makes me very angry so I've become very angry. Uh, these people have, have put something inside of me that uh, was never there, uh, an anger and a kind of wanting to make them pay, you know, uh, justice for what they've done, uh, our gang stalkers. And it's, it's something nasty. And I'm going to go ahead and nerd out because it's the only way I can explain it. Um, you know, I can't, I can't really sit here and explain every emotion to you. But I haven't cried like in I don't know months because I'm so uh, I'm so kind of numb to all this. So it's hard for me to even cry because like the trauma, the torture has numbed me. So even really bad things in my life, I have a hard time like you know crying anymore. I used to cry a lot when this first started, and I think it's it's healthier because that's a healthy human response. And now I'm just I'm angry and numb. Uh, but I was, I was watching a movie, and y'all know I'm a nerd, so I love Star Trek, and one of my favorite Star Trek movies is Star Trek uh, First Contact, where, you know, Captain Jean-Luc Picard, he's been taken over by the Borg and the TV show and stuff like that, and he, he, he really wants to go after them, he's like, you know, because they're gonna, they're trying to destroy the world, you know, they're trying to take over people and assimilate them. And he gets very angry. He gets very angry and he's like, you know, he's like, you know, they assimilate entire worlds and we fall back. You know, they they, they, they do this and that and they we fall back. You know, he's like, the line must be drawn here and he's like he's like, I'm going to make them pay. And I, I cry like it was this emotion that I didn't even know was coming because like I I was watching the movie just kinda passing time. And I realized that that's a big thing in me that I want these people to pay like because they hurt innocent people so badly and it's made me somebody I don't like um, you know I still have humor uh, but on my videos it's it's been a lot less and it's it's kind of just like a warning it sent shivers up my spine because that's how I am it's like I, I, I don't want them to pay like physically but I want them to pay. I want people to know who they are. I want, you know, I want us to to route them out because they're they're snakes. They're unempathetic. And see, right when like right when I do that, um, you know, I've, I've done that a lot on conference calls and the videos. You know, I pass along insults about them because they are murderers, um, and it it makes me uh, it puts something in me that I that I don't like seeing in myself. So. Um, you know, I'm still angry, and this, this is just a thing that will make, make normal humans angry, but I want to watch it in myself, and just kind of tell y'all how, how I feel about myself, how it's like, you know, this guy, um, I don't know, he, I hate him for hurting me, I hate him for hurting my family, I hate him for being a coward, I hate all of those things, but above all, I hate what he's made me. Uh, become uh, I have people you know now like all around me friends uh, you know who, who don't judge they don't don't necessarily believe that this is going on but they're nice and they don't judge and they help me um, and 
it's like at the beginning of this when I when I really started kind of coming out of my shell literally like the the aluminum and the the enclosure and stuff like that it was very good it was like you know this is great you know I'm not feeling that much pain and look I have people around me now you know I'm socializing more and these people who are attacking me uh, and us like targeting us they even found a way to make just hanging out with people and being around people they've made a way they've found a way to make that satanic and horrible like because I mean now when I hang out with people they'll they've got enough power to where they'll hit me in the jaw or the cheek and I have a lot of trouble talking uh, or they'll hit me in the head so that I'm, I'm just like completely just forget words uh, you know my memory's bad and so I do have a lot of anger about this because even the good things in our life they end up twisting them and turning them into things that can not only hurt us but can hurt those around us um, and so I just want to watch it myself and I know you know this is an early morning video it's probably uh, maybe too serious for me to be going to work and and uh, and doing a serious video but I go to work and I literally the things that I do are making money for St. Jude cancer kids and while I'm doing this stuff my V2K uh, my attackers on V2K will call me evil and say that I've lost it you know they're sitting there pressing buttons like trying to you know shoot these little directed energy beams like at my at my cheek and my neck and my chest uh, this morning I woke up my chest was very heavy so I've been wearing the hat and so they haven't been going for my head they go for my face they go for my chest so it, it changed uh, it changed their attack it deterred them from hitting directly like on the top of my head or the front of my head uh, to the more of the side down on my head and the chest so I mean these things do work and I, I don't know why I'm getting so angry. I mean, I know why I'm getting so angry, and y'all know why I'm getting so angry. This stuff makes you angry. Um, but it's just, it's not who I am. Like, it's the, the things that I do that I'm most successful in life are when I'm calm, I'm peaceful, you know, I'm, you know, working to get people together. Um, I've always done, helped my family with that, and I haven't. Like, I, because of this, just because of this not because of things that I've done to people or been mean um, I haven't been able to be that kind of cheerleader for my family pull people together um, it's it's done things that you know my attacker may be just like well I'm just trying to neutralize this guy but it's 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 sent out cascades of, of evil and cascades of uh, you know broken broken relationships or worse relationships than they should you know, they should be good, um, and it, it, it puts something inside of me um, where I don't like it. Uh, I don't like myself. Um, I feel like, you know, I do feel like we're going to, you know, we're fighting a war right now, uh, you know, with these people, and I get very angry. So I, I guess I just wanted to acknowledge that. Um, I want to be completely transparent on these videos about how I feel about this stuff. Um, because I do like the my past and how I've looked at this I can I can kind of I can kind of see what they're using on me I can learn about it and I can find defenses by trying them out so I can I can help people and if I get angry like the the other day I, I was yelling in my car and this was on the last video I mean yelling at the top of my lungs at this guy like nobody could see me because I was in my car but I was like you know, you're honorless, you know, oh, I, I use really bad words, and it was like, I don't know if it was 10 minutes afterwards, you know, but it was that day, it was that day that my vehicular stalking picked up, you know, times, it was times 20 of what it, what it usually was, so they do have a system where, you know, if you react angrily, um, while they're murdering you, um, you know, they will pick up the pace on the vehicular stalking, which a lot of these people don't don't even know what they're doing. It's it's a compartmentalized, like kind of military operation to rip apart American citizens. So, um, and you know, this morning I wake up and I've just had it a lot in my head, like because I watched. I don't know if if, if you're a big Star Star Trek fan. Um, you know, I watched the the show where the Borg take over Captain Picard, 
and then they show they have the movie First Contact where it kind of goes into that and how you know he can still hear them and he can still hear the Borg and it's like he's he's so angry for what they've done to him and for what they've done to other people because they just assimilate people and it's just this mindless thing where it's like the resistance is futile they you can't talk to them it's like and and so a metaphor a metaphor for for what's going on with me it's it's very strong that it's just these people you can't talk to them they they just keep coming um you know, they adapt uh, to what you do because they're just sitting there for so long. So if you if you think of something that really helps you, eventually they'll corrupt it. Um, you know, they'll corrupt it. They'll get into it. You know, um, you know my mom's charity that I work for, um, there are a lot of things that are going on with her computers and things like that. So, I mean, they are... They are attacking a charity, you know, uh, and that's a that's a fact. I mean, they're not they're not full blasting it and making you know, you know, making sure that you know we can't make money or anything. But they they throw little wrenches in the gears of this charity making money for St. Jude, and um, it's like she makes a lot of money uh, for St. Jude, and and like I want to like I write I write grants, you know, I do I do good work there. Um, and while I'm doing that work, you know, they're hitting me in the chest, cooking my body, and saying how evil I am. Um, and it's it's a um, it's something that that's akin to like the Borg or some kind of demon stuff. It's like not even human. Um, and and that's what makes me so mad. It's like they they act like they're not even human, and that we can't talk to them, and they don't have empathy and stuff like that. And you'll, like, on the conference call, like, I spit bile. Um, like, I get on there, and I don't even realize I'm doing it. Everybody's kind of talking about, like, yeah, well, I'm getting through it. And, you know, I'm trying this. And I'm like, well, these people, you know, they don't have any empathy. So don't expect to, like, you know, to, to talk to them. You know, they're, they're, they're almost like animal killers, you know. Um, you know, the people who are microwaving us, definitely. Um, but I guess I just wanted to kind of talk through some things uh, about myself. Um, I need to renew myself, renew myself on these videos too, uh, because you know I've it's become like I'll I feel for people who are going through this, but it's the same thing every day for me. So I have become numb to it, and it's like I feel. I'm like, what else can we talk about? It's like we've just got to do something. It's like, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I'll talk to people and we'll be like, why are these people doing this? What, what is up with these people? And it's just like, I'm getting to the point where it's just like, I don't, I'm just like, I don't know, you know. I mean, I, I know, kind of how evil, uh, like, slips into society, philosophies slip into a society, uh, bizarre philosophies that, that are unempathetic and weird. Um, but I've, I've gotten to a point where I need to renew myself uh, so I can help others who are going through this, especially people who are, who are just beginning to go through this. And so I kind of just want to go through this on this video, just kind of talk it out uh, with myself. Um, you know, my, my defense is... Uh, the the thin red I, I was I was very surprised because um, and this is another thing um, you know those conference calls are great y'all need to get on them because they ended up like I was feeling bad and I didn't get on the conference call because just when I'm so angry and I'm so hurt and I'm like you know I can barely think I really don't I don't want to get on a conference call and just and spit bile or, or put something negative in. Um, because people do respond to it, like, people feel the same way, like, they hate these people, like, they agree that they're unempathetic, that they don't understand that they're barely even human, these people who are, you know, cooking us, but, um, I, I didn't get on the call because, you know, I felt, I felt pretty bad, and they ended up calling me, like, I did the Thin Red Line video, and that night, uh, the, the whole conference call, the guy patched me in, and, it was just like it warmed my heart because people do care. Like you'll find target individuals who they care about you. Um, they're they're going through the same things. Um, you know, uh, they 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 want to be there. They want to joke around. They want to you know make you feel better. And that that's what this guy Mike on this conference call. Like he's my mentor. 